Most long-term dividend growth investors are searching for the perfect investment vehicle that not only offers a consistent stream of dividend income, but also long-term capital appreciation. But there is one simple yet important metric that many long-term dividend growth investors either don't think too much about or overlook for whatever reason. Now this commonly overlooked metric is dividend growth rate. And in this video, we are going to dig deep into what dividend growth rate really means and why the SEHD ETF's dividend growth rate is something that every long-term dividend investor needs to fully understand. Also, make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video because we are going to see what SEHD's future dividend all the way out until 2030 could be. Now, we are going to go over all this and more right after you please drop a quick like in this video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Now, before we talk more about dividend growth rate and how it applies to the SCHD ETF, let's talk a little bit more about what the SCHD ETF even is. So SCHD stands for the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, and it's an ETF offered by Charles Schwab, which is a financial service company. SCHD is designed to track the performance of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. The index includes 100 high quality US companies that have a history of consistently paying dividends and also raising dividends at a very fast rate. Now, the companies within SCHD are chosen based on things like dividend growth history, dividend yield, and overall financial stability. When you invest into SCHD, you are essentially buying shares of an ETF, which represents a diversified portfolio of all of these 100 dividend paying companies. Now, as of the filming of this video, SCHD is currently trading at $75.57 per share. The 52-week range is the low 65.96 and the high 79.49. So although SCHD was a bit of a better deal, a matter of just a few months ago, if you look historically at as far as the actual ETF price, SCHD has done nothing else besides trade up and to the right, higher and higher, year after year after year, with a few hiccups during massive events, of course. But a few more very important facts before we move on any further. SCHD's expense ratio is just 0.06%, which is a very, very cheap cost to own a very high quality ETF like this, in my humble opinion. The dividend frequency is, of course, quarterly, and the trailing 12 month as of now is around $2.60 as far as the dividends paid over the last 12 months. And the yield in the trailing 12 months is 3.44%. Maybe craziest of all, though, the assets under management for SCHD is almost $50 billion making it one of the largest ETFs in all of the stock market. Before we look further into SEHD's dividend growth rate and before we see how much SEHD's dividend is going to grow over the next several years, let's talk a little bit about what dividend growth rate is and how it works. So dividend growth rate is a measure that indicates the annual rate at which a company's dividend payments have increased over a specific period of time. It represents the compounded annual growth rate or CAGR, C-A-G-R of dividends over that period. And the dividend growth rate is often expressed as a percentage. Now, if you were to calculate the dividend growth rate, you would typically take the difference between the final dividend payment and the initial dividend payment, divide it by the initial dividend payment, and then divide that result by the number of years in the period. And finally, the result is expressed as a percentage. So a real quick example of this would be, let's say a company paid a dividend of $2 per share in the first year and then increased it to $2.50 per share in the fifth year. The dividend growth rate over a five year period would be calculated as follows. It would be the final dividend minus the initial dividend, divided by initial dividend, divided by number of years which would give us in that circumstance a 5% dividend growth rate. Now, dividend growth is especially important for investors that might not have all that much money, all, all that much capital to invest into an ETF like this. Now, this is simply because in theory, what this means is that if an investor was to invest into something like SCHD today, which is paying out a current dividend of around $2.80 or so as of 2023, if SCHD ETF's dividend growth rate continues like it has in the past, that investor will be getting paid more and more money for every single share of SCHD that they own. Now, this means that the only thing the investor would have to do in theory to get paid more and more and more in the future is to hold on to the shares of SCHD long term and allow the dividend growth rate to really kick in. One of the ways that I like to compare dividend growth to is considering dividend growth like a job. 
Every few years you might get a raise. Some years you might get a bigger raise. Some years you might get a little bit smaller raise. But the longer you stay at the job, in theory, the more raises and the more money you should earn in the future. And what's cool about investing, especially into a fund like SCHD, is that once you're invested into the ETF, there's no work. It's not like a job where you have to go there, clock in. You just buy into the fund, and at least historically speaking, it pays you more and more and more year after year. But I know exactly what you guys are still wondering. What is SCHD's dividend going to look like long into the future if we were to extrapolate and use the dividend growth rate metric, how much would a shareholder of SCHD be getting paid? Well, SCHD has a dividend growth rate on the three-year time frame of 14.05%, which is extremely, extremely high. Now, SCHD has a dividend growth rate on the five-year time frame of 12.24%, which is still impressive. And on the 10-year time frame, SCHD has an 11.35% dividend growth rate. Another fun way to look at SCHD ETF's dividends over time is to zoom out a little bit all the way back in 2011, 2012. What's crazy is that SCHD didn't even pay a dollar per share until the year 2014, where the yearly dividend was $1.04. But scrolling all the way up until current day, in 2023, SCHD is supposed to be paying around $2.81 or so. And what's super interesting is that if we were to assume an annual dividend growth rate for SHD of 10.03%, which means the dividend would double every 7.2 years. And again, this is all just an estimation. But if you look at SHD's dividend growth rate over the long term, this ETF has been growing the dividend extremely, extremely fast, relatively speaking, of course. So even though the 10-year growth rate is 11, the 5-year is 12, and the 3-year is 14, if we use a 10.03% dividend growth rate, we can see that in 2024, investors could assume, again, just an estimation, that SEHD could pay $3.10 in dividends in 2024. In 2025, SEHD could pay $3.41. In 2026, the ETF could pay $3.75 per share. In 2027, $4.13. In 2028, $4.55. And what's pretty cool about this is that the power of compounding really kicks in, which means as the numbers get bigger, they get bigger and bigger, faster and faster. By 2029, in theory, this fund could pay $5 per share per year in dividends. By 2030, SCHD could pay $5.50 per year in dividends. And by 2031, $6.05. 32, we could see $6.66. And by 2033, 10 years from now, SHD in theory, if the dividend growth rate stayed at around 10%, which again, isn't necessarily likely or unlikely, we don't really know what's going to happen. But let's just say it was to happen this way. We could see a $7.33 dividend per share from SHD 10 years from now. So although that might seem super crazy to some of you guys, if you look back in history, SHD in 2012 or 2013, look at what it was paying. It was paying 80 cents per share, 90 cents per share, and current day, it's almost triple that. So the moral of the story is that even if a fund like SEHD, VYM, or some of these other really high quality long-term dividend growth ETFs are offering a relatively smaller dividend yield compared to the dividend yield you could find in some higher yielding options out there, the dividend growth rate is a very important metric. And if the historical dividend growth was to happen in the future, investors could see massive, massive dividends paid to them long-term. But I'm curious what you guys think. If you were to guess as of today, what will SCHD be paying in annual dividends by 2030? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like in the video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.